hindi kay Jose Maria Siso bilang isang political thinker, siya po ay uh, bahagi din no? uh, ng Congress of Teachers and Educators for Nationalism and Democracy. Uh, siya rin po ay nagturo sa Department of English and Comparative Literature. At kasalukuyan po siyang nat National Secretary ng TEC. Walang iba ko si Dr. Elmer Ardonis. Believe it or not, 
the SB Epistola and the others truly. Napicture kami dito sa Sunday Times magazine. Kasama mga pictures. It was a write-up of the Board of Regents hearing where an assistant of the Secretary of President Hidalton testified that these four faculty members were being surveilled by the Military Intelligence Service. The late Bonnie Gallego later told me in a 1971 Civil Liberties Forum or told the audience that as an MIS agent in the 50s, he surveilled the faculty and students on campus. I hope you're not a I just want to acknowledge the presence here of uh, Dr. Epifine of San Juan. Uh, ito ang kasama-sama rin. But now, na, I think by one year, kay, kay your mom. Uh, so, ang tingin ko to sa generation na yan, a new breed of radical students who were not intimidated by the anti version of or of the witch hunt. The late, uh, Father Delaney then had focus on atheists who were, to him, communists because they did not believe in God. He also started the campaign against fraternities when an Upsilon neophyte died not because of hazing, but this did not matter. The Jesuit priests wanted to eliminate or discredit the fraternities to enable the Muska to control student politics on campus. He did not live to see the sacristans take over in 1957. Because of uh, Father Delaney's interventions in the UP, it was for the creation of a department of religion, and he wanted to change the curriculum. Anyway, yun ang mga pinag-uusapan during the period. Sabi nga ni Dr. Pascual, symbolic logic covers both inductive and deductive reasoning, whereas math zero or math in general is really basically a deductive discipline. So, all this, JMS must have witnessed as an English major student and may well have participated in the activities of the Society for the Advancement of Academic Freedom for the 1959. He may well have read the anti-communist books and the old war material of the time, like the God of Phil, available at the UC's library in Escolta, books that surely would arouse curiosity about the so-called Red Bogey. One step away from reading up on Marxism, as JMS said, he discovered the Marxist classics in the UP library, as was the common experience of open-minded uh, students. Kasi, remember the period, anti-subversion, okay, I have made you some basement of that is the This is on your mga liberal na kinabi, ay will again sa mga open shapes. Ang dito din ko sa bagay yung kay, yung mind camp ni Adolf Hitler, Yan, lahat yung mga ganyan na wala sa, sa, sa open shelves. Even the Ustans could not be isolated from, insulated from the so-called subversive literature. And I know at least two former Delaney Atulites who have lived through that period who became Marxist or Marxist-Leninist after a brief stint with the Ustans. Napapangitin ang pangalan, pero usap na lang tayo afterwards. Ano, siguro pwede na. Si Inemeso is a role. Si Eddie Yekas. Sila rin ang nag-ampin. Okay. Rector's article starting with this 1951 commencement address of American foreign policy were the inspiration of the progressive liberals who were also reading Agosilio's Revolt of the Masses and Cesar Mahul's ideas of the Philippine Revolution and the Peasants' War in the Philippines. Sino nga ka sumulat nga raw yun? Kasi ang tributed to Celianes, ang tributed to Jose Lava and so on. But anyway, walang pangalan yun. Lumabasa, Philippine 
social sciences and humanities review. Siguro na tatandaan na lang sa ni sa ni Telia bagila yung mga panahon na yon. The Marxist classics were read surreptitiously and discussed and studied. So James began his anti-American and anti-establishment articles and poetry in the late magazines like Signatures, Diliman Observer, and Project of Campus, and later the Philippine Journal. Progressive liberal students led by Jeff Joma started to form study groups within the newly founded Student Cultural Association of UP or SCAHU, a reverse of SCA, which saw its first issue, the which one conducted by the House Committee on Anti-Filipino Activities led by Representative Leonardo Perez. SCAHU, with the help of, of the Interfraternity Council headed by Ferdinand Tino, and the collegian with Renato Puno, the Chief Justice, uh, as editor, was able to master 5,000 students in a rally to Congress in 1961. Uh, actually, the first mass action undertaken by students was in 1951, uh, so 10 years later, and the 1961, uh, Scout. As noted by JMS, the study groups of SCAO were of two levels, one for nationalist liberal topics and the other on Marxism and the Philippine Revolution. By then, JMS may have been integrated in the PKP and tasked to organize and develop the youth sector. Uh, I don't know whether it would be one to be acknowledged, but the son of uh, our guru during the time, kami yung earlier, ano, no, early 50s activists, in a way, to a lot of mga busy-wasy liberals, pa kami noon, uh, na uh, were taken under the wing of Dean uh, Jose Lanzang, very influential among the students at the time. And it may well be one of the uh, PKP uh, no, tasks to develop so, kasi walang nababanggit na earlier speakers about this, so siguro ito na ang maging papito to bring this out. So, ito yung Jurassic na nga, no? Party of Indonesia under Aisati and ensured the flow of classical reading material, including German Mao's works. He was able to study how Mao applied Marxist, Marxism Leninism to Chinese semi feudal and semi colonial positions. JMS began to make a study of how Marxism Leninism Mao Zedong thought could be applied to Philippine conditions whereby a renewed Philippine revolution needed to go through the two phases, a national democratic revolution and a socialist one. He also made a study of why the revolution failed under the old leadership and proceeded to write, rectify errors, and rebuild the party. For the national democratic struggle, he began a series of lectures uh, on national issues and needed to weigh the need to wage a second propaganda movement as called for by Senator Recto before he died of heart attack in Rome in 1960. And uh, ito, na CIA uh, of the death of uh, Recto. <clears throat> the KM was a great forward to advancing the national democratic struggle with JMS giving lectures throughout the country, including the PMA cadets in Baguio, thanks to Colonel Dante Simbulan of the PMA Board of Advisors, who caught the invitation for JMS to speak before the cadets. The volume Struggle for National Democracy, 1967, a collection of lectures 
delivered by JMS and edited by uh, Luis Tiroro uh, 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 became one of the primers of the Young National Democratic activists during the 60s. Because of JM's ratification campaign, he was expelled from the PKP and also isolated in the movement of the advancement of nationalism, a loose alliance of PKP members and uh, allies among the nationalist liberals. In the second convention in 1968 at the SS building, which was eight, I was able to attend, JMS as Secretary General of <coughs> of uh, of NAM, National
<laughs> this poem, Guerrilla is like a poet, was a favorite among cultural workers. It's the lead poem and title in a book of Filipino poetry edited by a Canadian, also in Montreal in 1987. He would repudiate some of his bourgeois poems in his first book of poetry, in Brothers, and during the founding of Paksa, so again, uh, as chairman of the Paksa, would attest to this. Paksa founded in 1971. So, this may well complete. The transformation began in the late 50s from progressive liberal to a fully committed Marx-Leninist and who would make his mark as one of the 210 leading Marxist thinkers since the 1848 Manifesto in the world today, according to a British encyclopedia. Historian Fyodoro Agoncillo also uh, saw JMS as one of the three most influential revolutionary leaders after Katipunan founder Bonifacio and PKP founder Crisanto Evangelista. With his capture in 1976, he would spend 10 years in military prisons where he endured severe torture and solitary confinement. Through these trials that would have broken others, like his critics who would, who would demonize, demonize him, he remained old and continued to serve as an inspiration to Congress when they both the line, you can imprison a revolutionary, but not the revolution. His release in 19, February 1986, he founded the Partido ng Bayan in December 1986, which fielded candidates for both houses of Congress in the 1987 elections. But the DMV people found to their is made that the unreconstructed military continued to harass candidates, PMB staffers, and Joe Manningson. He had no choice but to seek asylum while on a lecture tour abroad from 66 to 86 to 88. By 88, the capital for asylum. Others uh, returned to the underground. Bernabe Bustaino and other PMB members of the underground, like uh, Alan Asminas, who has been recently uh, captured. At the end, they really have to believe he's uh, one of the NDF consultants covered under the joint agreement. Marcos, a 
has remained, remained intact to this day. There's been much to write about Philippine and world politics, and this has kept JMS busy in the lecture circuit that only Netherlands, where he lost his refugee status because of the machinations of the UP, US, and surrogates in the Philippines, but other parts of Europe. His lectures abroad have since been collected in four volumes launched last year by Aklat Nambayan. And as I noted in my introduction, in the third volume of Crisis of Imperialism and People's Resistance, the four volumes would serve as primers and inspiration for those seeking to bring about social changes, to social change towards socialism. Grounded as JMS is in the Marxism, in Marxism, Leninism, Marxism thought and revolutionary praxis, has proven wrong bourgeois propagandists like Fukuyama announcing the end of history. And he outlined correctly the contours of the world crisis today and prospects for the future. So, Yungana then is the chair of the International League of People's Struggles and consultant on the end of the Dinochka Roska may well have written the most insightful book about the author JMS at home in the world. It was written amidst the demonizing campaign against JMS. And she said, the revolutionary is not a terrorist. As I wrote earlier, history and struggle are strong currents in the stream of Caesar's words. The insights provided by JMS derived not only from his thorough grounding in dialectical, historical materialism and political economy, but also his credentials as an authentic revolutionary since the early 60s. JMS has been the steadying force in keeping the revolutionary movement intact and strong enough to compel the government to come to terms with the NDF, CPP, MPA, and in the current peace negotiations in Austria. JMS fully deserves the tribute of comrades and friends this evening and all over the world in struggle. Thank you.